Good morning. Welcome back to Kinseed. This is Pixelated Twix. And we are on day four, I do believe. Um, we've got some money here on the table. And Father is standing here at the door waiting for us. Of course, we have something to do. You need a sickle to harvest wheat or cut through long grass. Our old sickle rusted, so we need a new one. Jeremy's ironed. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's irons on the village should be able to help. Okay. So, um, no, there's nothing I need right now. Um, we have a task already. Um, uh, so we need to go visit Jeremy's irons. Um, and let's do some of the chores, um, that we normally have to do in the morning. Let's go talk to our brother really quick. Uh, he must have something for us. Father seems very kind to you. I often think about our real parents, I can't remember them at all. We must have been given away when very young. Do you think we were too poor to feed us? Or they were too poor to feed us? Did they die fighting monsters? Were we bad children? We will never truly know. Hmm. That's kind of deep when you think about it. Because, you know, um, as someone who has adopted myself, um, I definitely uh, think some... Not being thinking that I was a bad child or anything like that, but often weren't wonder about my own biological parents. But I have two amazing parents that, um, and a family that, um, you know, I tend not to think that, oh, I was a bad kid, I must have been a bad kid or um, been abandoned or something like that. But either way. Um, so yeah, just deep thoughts by our brother, deep thoughts. Um, let's see what else he has. Greetings. Good morning. How are you today, brother? I'm a bit sad. Well, after that train of thought, that our pro thought process that he had, I'm wondering, um, if he really thinks that we were given away because the family was too poor or if, he, um, we were just too much to handle um, going back from the opening credits of this game um, I just I think that maybe our parents were a little poor the old woman in the shoe I'm not sure if she was like a foster mom or something like that but um, I assume that all the children weren't our uh, natural born siblings so um, it's very possible that our parents were maybe um, died killing monsters or maybe we're too poor to take care of us but we have a family now so I mean our father is seems to be very loving and is teaching us the ways of life um, so I'm grateful for that but let's gossip a little bit more I heard the ninth winter was the day Betty Scrumpy was born um, he's sad I want to give him something I want to give him a gift um, we know not to give him blueberries, so let's give him an apple that's pretty safe, and he loves it. Um, all right. Farewell, young brother. Um, our relationship is growing with our brother. Now, he does have a quest for us, and let's check. So we need to deliver milk to Mother Hubbard. Um, we need to get a sickle from the blacksmith. We need to feed the pig. That's right. We need to find a mushroom. Um, I've seen them around in my last uh, Let's Play. There was, um, they were quite easy to find. Um, so let's feed our pig. And I think we're going to go ahead and ride the pig today. Um, first, let's feed the cow. And I want to grab some strawberries. These look so good, you guys. <laughs> I love fruit. And these strawberries look so juicy. Um, let's feed the cow. Let's give him a strawberry or her I and mean, give her a good pet. And let's check on our vegetables because we did um, start planting some things. These are growing. Do we need to water these every day? Oh, you say tomato. I say tomato. Same thing when written down. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Um, so let's let's water. I, I don't know if we need to. Okay. Um Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so we don't need to water these. No, we do. Okay. We do need to water them. <laughs> so you can water these individually or you can stand. I think it's like right here. No, or is it in the middle? Let's see. I'm not sure. Yeah, right here. And you can water all of them at once. 
so let's let's try that again. Okay, there we go. All right, so we need to go head out to the market. So let's hop in the pig because we can get there faster. Oh, poop, poop. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it this bucket? Oh, gosh, I don't remember what bucket it was. I don't want to use the wrong one. I think it's this bucket that we pick it up. Ooh. So we can fertilize plants this way. So let's go ahead and do that. I wonder if it's too late. And do we need more than one? No, there's plenty in here. <laughs> There is plenty in here, let me tell you. Okay, no, it's gone. All right. I have to remember not to use that bucket for water because that would be gross. Poor pig. Okay, let's hop on Mr. Pig and head out. I would like to be able to ride a horse. I wonder if that's available or will be available. Just so, just, just some thoughts. There's so much fruit to pick. I don't want to get too distracted, but I definitely want to make sure I keep an eye out for a mushroom. Um, do I need to do anything here? What do you wish for? Status? Um, let's exit out. Okay. We don't want to do that right now. Well, can we gift? I don't know. No. Okay. Okay. So I don't remember what the mushrooms exactly look like. I think they are a white colored um, mushroom. So I have to kind of keep an eye on the ground for things like that. Let's say good morning, Toby Jug. Greetings. Good afternoon. It's afternoon already? Okay, how are you? I feel ill. Well, you know what? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Any secrets? No time for banter right now. Okay, well, at least he's nice about it. All right, um, I believe Ooh, we have a quest here. What's going on? Hello. We don't know anything about her, but let's talk. Ginger Nut, she's friendly. Introduce ourselves. Oh, hello. Nice to see someone down this way. An orphan, eh? A twin? Must be nice to have family close. I haven't seen our Hazel since she married that traveling man. Hazelnut. I have to remember her because she was really hard to find the last time I start, I was playing. Anyways, um, let's ask for some a quest. To feed a critter, just interact with an animal and choose the feed option or just throw something near them. Um, let's give her a gift. Maybe she likes strawberries. She doesn't mind them. All right. Um, I'm going to ask for a secret. She is super friendly, so she's going to give us some secrets. Loose lips cause blips. Well, no, okay, never mind. That wasn't a secret. That was just telling us that she wasn't going to tell us anything. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. He is, ooh, is he selling sickles by any chance? He is not, but he's selling iron, and I don't have any money for that. But let's talk to him. Go see Jeremy. He'll know about that. Oh, that's right. Jeremy irons. Or no, is this Jeremy and his place is called Irons? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, his Jeremy Smith. Okay, just a little history on last names. I remember this from when I was growing up. I was told that be back in the day, people's last names tend to match what occupation they had. So if your last name was Smith, nine times out of ten, someone in your family was or is was a blacksmith and you were a blacksmith if you were a, a, a male child and so on and so forth so there's bakers you guys know bakers so obviously they were they were bakers so just a little history for you anyways hello there a sickle eh? bring me ore and i will happily teach you to make a sickle there's crumble chalk mine in our own little cave behind our house but i stopped going in there since i heard knockers Here's the key if you're brave enough. It's northwest of the smithy in this very region. Okay, so we've got a key. This is our first key that we've uh, in our game. In the game. Uh, who's this? I believe mushrooms might grow underground. So that might be um, a way to get that quest done. Introduce myself to Ned Scrumpy. I can't really talk to you, but welcome to the Vale and don't mind my family. I heard you also have a twin. Are they as stupid as my brother? <laughs> How are you? Um, any task info? 
Okay, so we know that. Let's give her an apple. How do you know I like such things? Awesome. So we know that Ned Scrumpy likes, wait, that's Ned. Ned is a, a female, a male, not a female. Ooh, chicken. Let's pet the chicken. Well, let's give her some food. Do, do chickens eat apples? Do they eat strawberries? I don't want to give her any time. No, she ate it. Okay, so let's go to the, oh, ooh, a pickaxe. Was it always there? <laughs> Uh, can we go in with the pig? I don't know. Oh, it is so dark down here. Okay, let's... Let's see. Okay, let's get the pickaxe out. Um, so inventory items. Equipment. I need to make room here. So let's... We don't need the apple to be on our... Okay. So... Let's see. I think I need to actually dismount... Okay. Okay, there's nothing there, Pixie. There's nothing there. It's so dark down here. Ooh, ore. Yes, all mine, 10 ore. Funny. Is there more? Nope. I think there's mushrooms down here. I hope there are. I wonder if our pig's gonna wait, cause I, I don't, maybe I should send the pig home. Maybe I should go back and send the pig home. Just a thought. There's a lot of ore down here. Okay, let me do that really quick because I don't want to lose our pig cause I can't afford to replace it. I have a feeling that the pig will go home if I leave it. Um, I forget how to do that. I think it's E, no it's not. I don't remember. Well, let's get on her. Or him. I don't know. I don't know. Quick way to get through anyway, so we can just now. Oh, note. Proverb. Put an apple in fairy rings and rot it will like darkest things. Oh, okay. I don't know. Sounds ominous. No, oh, mushrooms. Mushroom. I'm a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> More mushrooms. Cool that we could go ahead and get that quest done. Awesome. Oops. Okay, back on the pig and searching for more ore. Make sure we have enough. This is the beginning of the tunnel or the cave system. Um, we already mined this, I believe. And I, okay. We're, no, wait a minute. That wasn't the beginning. What am I doing? Oh, we did come over here, though. There's a book down here. What is this? A good folk of the Vale allow the miners of deep stone work our ten mines. Yet, even those experienced men and women were too scared once the knocking started and they left. Now, it is just me and the knockers. I stay here trying to mine the ore as my family needs the brass. I hear them even now, making their infernal sounds. There's a creeping dread that I am being watched and sometimes feel a presence behind me and dare not turn around. As I write, the knocking grows louder and the presence looms large behind me. I know if I turn around, I might be staring straight at a pair of big knockers or worse. If you find these notes, please tell my wife, Patty. I'm going to leave that one alone. Leave that one alone. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's head over this way because that looks like there was an entrance down there or an exit down there and I didn't want to take that yet let's see what's up here okay so there's another exit okay it is getting late I want to go ahead and try to turn this in um it is two o'clock in the afternoon says the big hand um and we want to head over to see Jeremy Irons again um so let's tab and get off the pig and let's talk to him. You did it. Well, a promise is a promise. Are you ready to learn the noble art of smithing? Use the chain on the forge there to begin. Okay, I remember being really bad at this. So he gave me a sickle mold. Um, is it over here? Let's begin your smithing apprenticeship. Start by selecting an ore and a mold. You only have 10 and a sickle mold, but there are many more materials and molds out there to create anything from door knockers to swords. 
Okay, so I have 10 ore here. I'm going to select that and I'm going to select the sickle mold. So I just click here. Okay, now you need to cool it to make it durable. Hold down the left mouse button to plunge the sickle in and let it go when you see the arrow hit the target line. It moves fast, so be ready. So left button. All right. Okay, that was bad. You, now you need to set your flexibility in the forge. Hold left mouse button to improve flexibility. The more flexibility you have, the easier it will be when it comes to the anvil. Okay, I am terrible at this too. Now you need to hammer the sickle on the anvil. Press left mouse button when the hammer passes over a target to hit it. Having higher flexibility in the previous forge stage means a slower moving hammer. Each time you successfully hit a target, your durability rises. Accurate strikes are key. So judging from my last successes, <laughs> this is going to be extremely hard. Yeah. Not bad. It failed. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> All right. We have four. And the sickle mold. I hope I have enough. <laughs> okay. Bad. Bad. Oh. What did I? Okay. Okay. This is just going to be bad. <laughs> I failed it again. <laughs> oh, it broke. And I lost door. Yikes. Okay, I need to get this right. I need to get this right. Okay, so you need to cool it, make it durable. Okay, I have to hit the target line. What arrow? Did I miss? Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Please don't make it again. It's getting dark. I don't have much ore left. Okay. We have to do this. We have to get this right. What arrow? That arrow. Oh my gosh. I am such a genius. Oh, guys. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> gosh that was so much easier wow if I could only follow directions it's time to leave used by serial killers okay let's go home our pig left us <laughs> I think our pig just had it with us alright so we're gonna go ahead and head home and uh, we have our sickle, we have our mushroom. So we killed two birds with one stone today. Yeah, that was painful. I know it was very painful for me to watch. <laughs> we spent more time trying to figure out the sickle than we did everything else. All right. So one day down in our little uh, pocket. I don't think we missed anything on the calendar. I'm not sure. Um, I don't think it was anybody's birthday today. Nothing. So just checking out the rest of the week we have on the 5th here. Nothing here. On the 6th, there's the pig market. And you can go and uh, buy auctioned off pigs. Um, so we don't have money for that, but we'll go check it out anyways. And then on the 8th, we have the traveling salesman or the traveling Tweda. On the 9th, he is, I think he's here for the 8th and the 9th. Yeah. And on the 10th, the market's open. So we'll make sure that we have things to sell. And father will be 56 years old on the 11th. So we have to make sure that we remember his birthday. And then I believe it's our birthday. So we'll need to find a gift for our sibling. Now we do remember that he doesn't like blueberries. So I have to find out like what he likes. We'll both be 13 on that day. Um, so yeah, I'll have to keep that in mind. This is definitely a notebook game. So, um, if you're one of these people like me that require, um, to require things to be written down to remember, uh, by all means, grab yourself a notebook. If you want to get a special notebook, I have, <laughs> have to have a special notebook for games like this. 
grab one off of Amazon. There's some really cute ones on there. And this is not some sales pitch for Amazon Prime, but <laughs> it gets much use over here, let me tell you. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna pick some fruit before I head home. It is getting a little late and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the, I am tired, yep, yep. Okay, right at 10 o'clock and I'm sure that it's too late to turn these quests in. Oh, I can talk to father. Um, so let's go ahead and nicely done, made it yourself. That's very impressive work. Smithing is hard work, but can build up your muscles for sure. I prefer the smells of the farm. Pig muck over pig iron for sure. Uh, yeah, and I know that you can actually become a blacksmith in the game. Um, if I'm good at it, maybe that'll be something that I, I um, consider doing later. But okay, guys, that is all I have for you today. I do thank you for joining me uh, for another Ken Seed episode. Um, I won't have one coming up next week because I will be out of town. So I do hope that you'll be patient with me as I roll these episodes out. Once again, thank you. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you later. Ciao.